Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Kieran and I'm pleased to have recently joined the digital marketing team here at NetDuma. We've got a lot of future content planned for you guys, not just on this YouTube channel, but across all of our other socials as well, which are all linked down in the description below. But today we're here to talk about this, which is the NetDuma R2 gaming router or router, depending on where you're watching this from. We're in the UK, so I'm gonna to stick to a router for now, but it is of course the successor to this which is the NetDuma R1 router, which we launched back in 2014 now. You can already see from a design point of view how far we've come with this. This, we essentially got the, the hardware in from a European manufacturer called Mitrotic. We then put our software on it, gave it the NetDuma stamp of approval and sold it to you guys. With the R2, things have changed a lot. It was built in-house, fully designed in-house here in the UK as well. We were able to go to the manufacturer and spec it exactly how we wanted to. So. We know we could have built a more powerful router, but what we didn't want to do is put the price point too high. We wanted to make it accessible. We wanted to find that right balance between price point and performance. And we've done that here with the R2. It's extremely popular. At the time of recording this video, we are actually working through a backlog of orders from all over the world, working really hard to get them out to you as quickly as possible. So if you are waiting for your R2, the wait will shortly be over, I can assure you. The R2 is also the router of choice for our in-house developers. That's because we can push updates to it really quickly and really easily, which is something that you'll be able to benefit from being an R2 customer. We also have the Duma OS mobile application, which has all the core features available at your fingertips. We're also working really hard behind the scenes to constantly bring additional features, ad blocker being the most recent addition. So we know that whenever you buy a new piece of tech or a new piece of equipment, that the unboxing is all part of the experience. So we've taken that into consideration here with the R2. Very sleek, very compact, feels very, very premium. There is a sleeve on the inside of the box, which you can just slide out like so, and then lift this lid. Immediately, first thing you're gonna see is the R2 itself. Pride of place, right at the top. So we're just gonna lift that out. There you can see it in all its glory. Look at that, looking very nice in the light there. We're just gonna pop that to one side. Lift up this panel here. Next thing you'll see is the user guide. Now this is very much a quick start guide. If you don't want to read that, that's absolutely fine. We will have, uh, obviously in this video, we're gonna show you how to, to get set up and everything like that, but we will have future videos coming as well. But if you do like to read a quick start guide, there it is. And then the next thing you see here is the four external antennas. So they screw into the holes on the R2. There's two on the left, two on the right. They're not numbered. Let me just bring the R2 back here. So they just screw in to these holes here. So it doesn't matter which hole you put them in, which order irrelevant they all fit the R2 so lift that up gently and carefully lift those out and then you can see your cat6 ethernet cable right there that's next finally power adapter now you'll see here this is a UK power adapter don't worry about that wherever you order from we will make sure that you get the right power adapter the right plug for your location so now that the R2 is unboxed, the next step is to get it set up, powered on, and ready to go. Step number one of doing this is to screw the four external antennas onto the threaded ports on the side of the R2. Like I said, doesn't matter what order you do this, just simply go ahead and screw all four of them on. And to get the best Wi-Fi connection, you want to point them vertical. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna need you to use your imagination a little bit. We're gonna pretend that the predecessor to the R2, which is the R1 that I showed you earlier on in the video, is the router modem that's provided to you by your internet service provider. The great thing about the R2 is it is compatible with all ISPs, so you're not gonna run into any problems. But what you need to do is connect one end of the ethernet cable into the internet port of the NetDuma R2, which is located on the back. Then connect the other end of the ethernet cable into your ISP's modem or router. You're then gonna to want to disconnect any wired devices that are already connected to your existing ISP modem or router and then connect them into the back of the R2. You've got four ports located on the back. Now the only device that's wired into your ISP modem or router should be the R2 itself. The final step is then to turn on the modem or router provided by your internet service provider. Then it connects the R2 power adapter into the power socket on the back of the R2. Connect the other end into your power outlet. Turn the power on. Wait approximately 45 seconds for the R2 to complete booting up. And then we're ready. We're ready to go on to the next section of the video, which is how to set up the Duma OS 3.0 software. So you've unboxed your R2. You've screwed in the antennas. You've connected any wired devices that you want connected into the ethernet ports in the back. And you've powered on the R2. Now it's time to set up the Duma OS software. 
So what you need to do now from your PC or your laptop is search for Wi-Fi networks, locate the network NetDuma R2, click on it and enter the password. The password you can find on the bottom of the R2 router itself. Once connected, you're going to need to enter Duma OS forward slash into the URL or there is an IP address in the quick start manual that you can enter to bring up the software homepage, if you like, where we can begin the setup. And I'm going to talk you through that now. So the first screen you're going to get is this one. This is the user agreement. Have a read through and if you're happy with it, click OK. The next screen is going to ask you to input your upload and your download speeds. If you know them, that's great. You can input them there. If you don't, it's absolutely no problem. Leave them as they are. What we can then do is run a true speed test in the Duma OS software and then come back and input the speeds afterwards. Duma OS is going to use the speeds that we, we input here as a reference point to kind of maintain and optimize your connection as well as identify any sort of unexpected connectivity issues. You'll then be asked to choose your router administration login details. Obviously, you're free to input this however you like. Obviously, keep them safe, keep them secure, and make sure that you remember them. If you forget, it's no major issue. You can do a factory reset, which will reset this setting, but of course, that will undo any sort of customized settings that you've done on the Duma OS software, which is not ideal. You're then going to be asked to select your region from the drop-down menu. We, of course, are in the UK, so I'm going to click on United Kingdom. Next up, you'll be given the option to personalize your Wi-Fi network details. You can pick the name to help you identify it from a list of Wi-Fi networks available. You can also choose the password. Again, make it something personal, something secure, and something, most importantly, that you're going to remember. If you can't think of something now, don't worry. These settings can be changed at a later date, so you can leave them as the default settings if you so wish. Now, the self-explanatory section. I, uh, I love these. Simply select your time zone, that's all you need to do here. Finally, you will then be asked whether you're happy for NetDuma to collect interaction and technical data. Now, this data comes into our in-house team of developers here in our, our Cambridge office, and we use that to make sure that everything is working as it should be. It also gives us insights into the features that are the most popular and what our customers are most enjoying about Duma OS. So completely your choice. You can either tick this box or, or untick it based on your preference. And then that's it. You can see here, welcome to Duma OS 3.0. It is set up and ready to go. It's now time for you to take advantage of all the amazing features that are available to you. If you're new to Duma OS, don't panic. There is a built-in tour into the software, so that will I recommend that you start there if you're new, and that will take you through all of the features, tell you a little bit about their purpose and how they can be of benefit to you. If you're already familiar with Duma OS, I'm sure you're going around customizing your dashboard and doing all the things that you need to do. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We will, of course, be bringing more videos on each feature, explaining a bit more about them and how they can benefit you and how to best optimize your connection. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if that's something that is of interest to you. But for now, yeah, you're all set up and you're ready to go. Welcome to the Duma Army. Enjoy.